All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be uh, expanding our pig area. Right now, they have this little pig pen. It's probably about 20 by 20, something along those lines, and it's, elect it's electrified. And we put them in this pen just to get them used to electric so that they won't bust fence. And now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna expand their area much more. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we're just setting up a corner post. We had a lot of these fence posts that we just found on our property. We didn't buy any, any fence posts at all for, for this project. Well, any corner posts anyway. And then we also found this, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's for hammering in fence posts. We'll just call it a fence post hammer. And uh, it works pretty well. It's, uh, if, you don't, if you've never seen one of these before, uh, if you're doing any kind of fence posts, you should totally have these. So we did one corner and then we went all the way over to the other corner, probably about 200 feet away. And what we're doing is we're pulling that line with this as well. Now this is um, this is electric wire versus, or electric strand wire versus just electric um, metal metal wire. We've we've used the metal wire before and it's it kinks. It's hard to reuse, so we like the the strand stuff it's like rope yeah it's called electric rope so here we are my wife is uh, putting on some corner posts or putting on some insulators on the corner posts and we don't have uh, corner in insulators so we're just using regular insulators and then we're just wrapping it around the outside versus the inside and it seemed to work out pretty well and we're doing uh, six inches and 14 inches now we later on learned that we're, we had to change this to more like six inches and ten inches because the pigs walk right through it. So here I'm just weed whacking around the line. Now I didn't show it in this video, but I, I did weed whack the entire area around uh, all of the, the electric rope. So I'm just gonna showing you guys a, like a quick thing of what I had to do. Where it, was, where it was pretty thick. It wasn't like this the whole way, but I did have to get in there and and get weed whacking a little bit. Now we're, we're approaching fall, so we're not gonna have to worry about uh, fresh grass or anything like that. So we figured this is pretty much the best time to, to do this in this area. All right, so what we're using here is a rebar post. Now we got some 10 foot posts, cut them down to three and a third. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these uh, 
insulators they have for um, half inch or, or small. Actually, they're up to an inch, but they're just like this. So you can get these 25 pack for, I don't know, 10 bucks. Um, we're gonna put these about every 12 feet or so, except for the spots that needs it like real bad. And we're gonna drive this into the ground, probably about a foot to 14 inches, somewhere around there. I ended up buying a bunch of 10 foot rebar and then cutting it down three ways. So what is that? Three, three and a third foot. You can buy the actual posts that are rebar. I, I just couldn't find them in my area. I did end up finding them after I already bought all the rebar and cut them up. Cutting wasn't so hard as long as you have a sharp disc on your grinder. And then we ended up painting them white. We thought that it would be easier to see for the lawnmower, and, and it is, but pretty much was unnecessary. It added an extra, I don't know, 10-15 minutes to the job of spray painting and cardboard. We ended up with 45 posts. I bought 15 10-footers, and we used 42 as, after it was done. We had about three left over. And then, uh, as far as the corner post, we used well, we used the four corners. Plus, it wasn't a perfect rectangle or square. So, okay. Right here she's putting on the rebar insulators. Now these guys are awesome. They're super easy to put on. It's just two pieces and you just tighten them up and you can move them up and down. That's one of the reasons why we got them is because it's really easy to mess around with and to adjust. So as the pigs get older, we'll be able to adjust these higher and higher until we don't need them anymore. All right, so we just took a break, got some lunch. So we got this whole line done. This is one side. But there's about four, there's pretty much four sides. So it's uh, it's not bad. Uh, it's pretty easy. We should be able to get this finished up pretty quickly, and then we'll run the second line, and then put the electric on there. See if it works. See if we can get these pigs out in this pasture area today. All right, let's get to it. All right, so what we're doing here, we don't have the proper uh, way to splice this together. We're just gonna tie knots, and that'll be fine for now uh, until we get a splice or something along those lines. I don't know the exact terminology of wire fence stuff, so. Hey, come here and hold this real quick while I get this shit off. I need to cut it. Just hold it. Not got in there or something.
I'll try mine. Seem tight enough? Yeah. Let go. <coughs> I'm missing a thing over there too. I guess I forgot to put my on. And that's a sweet splice. So this will work in a pinch. Other than that, it'll still, it'll be fine. All right. Well, we're gonna put the second line on, and uh, pretty much we're gonna be done after that. All right. Do you want to walk with this, or do you want to put them on? As far as the spice goes, it's not the proper way to do it, but it works perfectly fine. It's basically just a figure eight and then tied around about ten times just to make it secure. <clears throat> now, I could have done it the proper way, and the proper way would have been to get a, a spice kit and crimp them together, but it's, no ne it's not necessary. Grab the um, it's on top of the feed dish, the tester. took about two or three hours wasn't too bad but another hour of cutting rebar another couple hours of uh, thinking it out and grabbing everything at the store not bad at all uh, we already had the charger so like again wasn't too too bad probably cost us uh, I don't know 200 bucks total to do the whole thing so we're gonna let these pigs out <clears throat> open this pig door and see what happens hopefully they don't run away we'll see How big do you think we went from? 